Hey everyone, I'm Mecca coming at you here. And uh, if you're brand new to this channel, nice to meet you. I do three things here. I show you how to increase your income so you can take back your freedom, so you can design that ultimate lifestyle. And um, this is gonna be a new series we're gonna do. It's called Get Your Money Right. And I'm gonna help you get your money right so you can do just that. Get your money right, increase your income, take back your freedom, design your ultimate lifestyle. So let's get into it. I got a question from a viewer, I'll throw it up on the screen here. Uh, she says, Mecca, I love to spend money and I have bad habits like smoking, eating out, and, um, impulse buys like lattes, etc. I only work part time and I have a shitty boyfriend, her words, not mine, um, that mooches off me. If you're gonna help me, God bless you. No kids, cat mom. Uh, grew up working since I was 11 years old. I made money every day as a waitress in my grandfather's restaurant. If I spend all my earnings, no big deal. Just work again. Um, just work again tomorrow. That's been my money mentality and training. Don't worry about my moochers. He will be gone soon. All right. Kylie, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Forgive me um, if, if I butchered it. But Kylie, first and foremost, um, the moocher. If he's not gone... Play him the video. Hey buddy, I hate to do this for you, but you know what? It's not her, it's you. You gotta leave, so please pick your ass up. Get your yourself out the door. Bye bye. We gotta help change this girl's life and you just can't be part of it mooching off. So let's dive into it now that we've taken out the trash. First and foremost, Kylie, you have to understand this. You do not have a spending problem. You have an income problem. You're not making enough money. One, why are you only working part time? Uh, if it's your cat, yes, get rid of some cats and work full time, okay? You have to increase your income. Um, normally, I would say stop smoking. I'm not a smoker, I can't stand it. We're not even gonna get into that right now. But listen, you smoking, eating out and buying lattes is not the reason you're having money issues. It's your mentality and it's the lack of income. That is the problem. That is what we have to fix. So that's what I want to spend some time talking about today. So one, I know you have my book. I know you have the self-publishing blueprint because we were just emailing about it earlier today. Um, so have you started on that? Have you got a, your, your first book published up on Amazon to start generating that extra source of income? This is exactly what you want to be doing around your part-time job right now is finding a way to increase your income. It's not cutting back your lattes, believe it or not, the latte factor, there's a book, um, called the latte factor It's complete bullshit. Okay. You going to Starbucks every day is not the reason you have no money. You spending five bucks on a latte is not the reason you have no money. It's the fact that $5 is an issue. That's an income problem. It's not a spending problem. So we have to find a way to increase your income. So yes, it should be everything in this book. Um, but then also it might be finding another part-time job. Comment, why do you only have, if you want to comment, why do you only have a part-time job right now? Are you looking for another job? Can you work full-time? Um, you need to be working more. You have to increase your income because that's going to fix everything. Um, so we've talked about that. Now let's talk about um, the mentality because this was something that I struggled with so much. Um, I used to say money was like grains of sand in my hand and I'd pick it up and it would just fall through. That's that's how I kind of grew up. That's how, when I started working, um, that's how I treated my paychecks and et cetera. I just, I lost a lot of my money because I didn't know how to manage it. What I would do, some of the things that going back, the, the little things that did before I learned how to increase my income was start automatic saving plans. Um, I use uh, Tangerine. Um, I'll put a link down in the description, Tangerine. Um, it's a, I think they're a Canadian bank. I don't know if you can use them in the States. Bottom line is here. You have your bank account, okay? Open up another bank, okay? And transfer, like get a free account, a savings account, whatever. And then every paycheck, every paycheck transfer automatically $25. And just start doing that right now, okay? Now, the trick is you have to do this. You have to have it set up automatically so you can't so you don't have to do this manually because if you have to do it manually it's not going to happen now 
I don't care if it's $5, $10, or $25, or $50. Do whatever you can right now um, that's not gonna put you out of, you know, out of a house or home. Um, but what's gonna happen is this, all of a sudden now, you're gonna start over a period of time, you're gonna start seeing that you have some money saved. And that's gonna start increasing your confidence that you know how to deal with money, you know how to handle money, you know how to manage money. But it's that first little step that you have to do. Make it automatic and make it into an account that you cannot see. So that's why I, I, I still use it. I use a separate bank. We use uh, Tangerine for the majority of our, 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 our saving stuff because we have to log in separately. Um, it links up to take money out of our other accounts, out of the Scotia or RBC or whatever uh, bank you're, you're using. So, um, you know, and that's all set up automatically, um, you know, in Canada, there's a lot of uh, government perks with kids and like child benefits and, and stuff like that. Those go nowhere near our regular spending accounts. They just go straight into the Tangerine account, um, you know, and just build up, build up there and, and uh, you know, pays you interest and, and all of that fun jazz, but it's separate because there's that old saying, you know, set it and forget it. Um, so do that to get started with, but it's always going to come back to the number one issue. That's your income problem, not your spending problem. You can keep smoking. You can keep having your impulse lattes. That's, Hey, that's what you like to enjoy. Life's meant to be enjoyed, but we have to increase your income so you can keep enjoying the things that you enjoy. Maybe it's getting some more cats. Um, you know, maybe it's attracting the love of your life, whatever the case is. We have to work on increasing your income, not cutting back your expenses, not cutting back your spending. It's your income that we really need to focus on. So reach out to me, please let me know what are you doing now to really focus on increasing your income, Kylie. I want to know, I know we're, I think we're friends on Facebook, but you are always commenting on my posts on Facebook. So I want to know what are you going to do now to start increasing your income so you can take back your freedom and design that ultimate life for you. Hey everybody, I'm a Mac. If you got any questions, reach out to me. You can comment about your money questions here. What are you struggling with? What do you want to get better? Um, whatever it is, I want to do more videos talking and helping people to get their money right because we live in an economic world. Money makes the world go round, so to speak. Um, we have to talk about it. We have to get good with it. We have to increase our income. Till next time, everyone. I'm Mecca. We'll speak to you all soon. Take care.